last night we let the liquor talk I can't remember everything we said but we said it all what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're gonna briefly discuss the beginning of the mega season i'm sorry i've been away for so long i was dealing with good things going on in my life and just kind of occupied with all of that but i did get moved into a new place um i got the internet and everything established so all i've got left to really work on um is to finish up the hardware for my setup and uh, then I'll be all done and we'll be doing content non-stop. But I'm going to be back full time this season and going forward now that I've kind of gotten into the swing of things. Anyways, you're here for the mega season. What I'm going to do is break things down. Um, season one, we're going to kind of max out or the first season of the four seasons. We're going to kind of max out at three, four or maybe some five so that's where you need to focus and then week two is probably going to be four five six or week three five six or and then week four is going to be a lot of uh six and seven or so where we need to focus is the optimal path to get us diamond i think i heard luke somewhere say earlier today that um as long as you finish in gold or as long as you finish at 18 50 on week one you can have a gold start for week two 23 and a half for 2375 gets you a diamond start for week two so that is the priority so i'm going to show you the optimal path to get you diamond week one because starting out hot, starting out, you know, and catapulting in week one is where it really matters to set you up for the rest of the other three individual seasons. All right. So I'm going to show you what the diamond medal was in season 15 and the path to get there. Okay. So like we get all this stuff automatically. So that's bombers, shocks, great things, easy things to start out with. So we go down, we go straight to TD, stop at TD though, and we go up and around and straight to five. That's the path, and then you're obviously going to grab mortars because mortars kill bombers, and you're going to get flare. Now, when you get those things, it's completely dependent on you. If you want to get them in the beginning, you can. You want to get them in the middle. Wherever you want to get them, this is the diamond path all the way to critters. That's where we need to get by the end of week one so that we can be in a position to push diamond. So that includes all of the base D besides sniper towers, but you can skip all this stuff up here. Med kit, rifles, all that. You can skip melons. I'll explain why we skip them, skip all of that, and then just go, I mean, move all that stuff out of the way. Alright, so we will get this out of the way, and, I mean, you might be able to get sniper towers, but you need to finish this red path first before we move on to sniper towers or anything else you might add. And then you say, why not melons? Well, you could probably do melons, but the problem with melons is they have less health. And they pass differently and stuff like that. So for the hit we're going to be doing at 4 your, um, you're going to need all the health you can get with the bombers. Because we're basically going to be Hail marrying. We're going to have all the base D, plus we're going to, besides sniper towers, and we're going to have shock mines, green mines. So that's huge. We're going to be using heavies. So now let me pull up a map or one of the decks from 4ER. Kind of get an idea of the hit that we're going to be doing. Alright, so this is one of the main decks or one of the bases or meta bases from Season 15 at 4ER, okay? Alright, so this is going to be the primary hit that we're going to be doing um, when it comes time for the season. So, we're going to do three heavies, 
five bombers. Okay, so it's going to be um, two heavies, three bombers in red. We're going to go up. We're going to Hail Mary the first ER with the flare. Then we're going to Hail Mary the second ER with the flare. Shocking only the boom cannons right here. And then you're going to critter the, the white arrow with, while shocking the boom cannon and the flames. And then lastly, we're going to drop one heavy, two bombers down low. And going to use brick battle orders to get up there really quick to finish off the ER. We're going to be doing that um, in like 313, 317. And that's going to be the meta for a really fast uh, clear to get us to diamond. Probably going to be similar bases. Now bases could change. Hell, it's been what um like 35 seasons if not longer 40 seasons so yeah things are going to change but basic concept okay and uh the melon bombers do clear really fast but doing this the regular bombers have more health and you flaring makes the difference to make them faster plus you're crittering out the one er while you have uh the flamethrower or whatever shot let's do one more okay all right, so we're going to do this one together. Um, all right, so we're going to flare two, three. Two heavies, three bombers. We go up for the ER. We go up for the second ER. You're going to end up uh, shocking um, this one. And you're probably going to shock this right here while you critter. Oh, let's get the arrow going. Critter. Okay, well, it can stay in blue, and then we'll do the bottom one right here. So you critter the one up top, then the bottom one you go one, two, with brick battle orders to get it up there really fast. And then that's the meta at hand, and that's what gets you diamond. Or that's what the diamond meta was season 15. So if we can get all of the things that we need to make this happen, and then we implement those things then that could get us diamond week one, which would then set us up for the remainder of the other season. So it's, it's key to get set up week one so that you're set up for success week two, week three, week four. And then week two, before that comes around, we can always go back and look at, you know, four, five, six, seven, or wherever we need for week two and then go from there. Um, but this right here is where we need to be, whether it's uh, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We need to be right here so we can be ready to go for our final push. Let's go back to the tech tree. All right, so we're going to go over this just one more time just so everybody has it clear. Um, the main meta. So, we're going to go flare at some point, but we're going to go down to TD. We're going to go up, up, around, and then go to critters. That gives us all the necessary tech that we need, and you might be able to be able to still get DVD, maybe even, or, you know, say you get so far ahead that you can go down and get RLs, but that's not needed. This is what's needed. This is what you need to get to that diamond push point, okay? And so while other creators can show you the big picture stuff like that, I'm going to be making smaller videos like this to show you where you need to be at your certain push points to set you up for success week one, week two, week three, week four. And then we can do live streams where we play and stuff like that. But I just wanted to get this one out today so you had a little bit of an idea. You could start adding up your keys and your tokens, seeing where you need to get to by the end of week one to set yourself up for success. But, um, but yeah, guys, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe, donate, do all the fun stuff other people do. And then um, we'll probably do a live stream tomorrow. Then I'll probably do one last video on Sunday, setting you guys up for Monday morning. And then we'll get going through the week and try and do uh, streams every other day. I don't know that I can do it every day. But every other day, try and do streams or at least uh, put out a video helping you guys along the way. Because I'm back full time, being able to make content and stuff like that. We'll go from there. All right, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Wish I was somebody you never met. Baby, 
baby, soft is telling me this ain't over yet. No way it was our last night. I kissed your lips, make your girl.